Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Demon Souls Remake. This time I'm going to show you how to rescue Lord Rydell, or Lord Ridiel as he was originally called in the Asian version of the PS3 game. He is a blue phantom that is located in the west side of the second floor in a locked cell. And his key is not available until you get pure white world tendency in level 3-2, which is Upper Latria. So in order to gain white world tendency, you need to kill bosses, kill invading black phantoms. If you have any questions about world tendency itself, I've made a full explanation guide that I will link in the description below that explains to you how to manipulate world tendency, push it towards white or black, and how to know when you have pure white and pure black. But you need pure white world tendency and access to level 3-2 because the key to his cell is hidden there. Once I show you how to get the key, I'll then show you the quickest way to get back to his cell to unlock it, as well as the rewards that you get, including access to more of the dungeon and a couple new item sets. The key is located on top of the first pillar where we broke the chain. If you have gone through 3-2 at all, you should be familiar with that. And I don't think you could really do this on your first playthrough, so you should definitely be familiar with this pillar. Uh, in case you forgot how to get there, I'll show you. You just follow the uh, opening pathway and then instead of going all the way up the first interior chamber to the man eater's boss room, what you want to do is hook a left uh, once you are able. So we're going to head in there now, killing these slug enemies. They appear after you release the heart. So if you don't have any, don't worry about it. So we're going to go all the way up the staircase uh, to the midpoint. And we're not going to go all the way, all the way towards the red phantom jailer. We don't have to deal with him to get this key, luckily. All right, so once you're up here, you're going to go to the walkway on the left here. Be careful because there are a bunch of gargoyles. Uh, one flies off the pedestal right there, and then another one has a crossbow that you got to be careful of. If you're running, chances are he won't be able to hit you with it, but still just watch out for it. It can come. There's a gargoyle that will fly off of this pedestal, and then another one just above the entrance to this pillar. This is where we're trying to go here. So just run all the way up the stairs. Another gargoyle will drop right about now. Should be on this staircase here. Yep, there he is. You can ignore him. And then you just want to wait for the elevator. If the elevator uh, is on its way up or just isn't close to you, I recommend just holding up your shield because I have had gargoyles attack me while up here. Uh, sometimes they get up there and just ignore you because they shouldn't be up there, but just be careful. All right, so at the top of the elevator, we're going to ascend this staircase here. And we're going to keep going, and as long as you have pure white world tendency, there will be a bridge between these two walkways. And then you can walk up this new staircase, and on top will be a corpse that has the key to Rydell's cell. Something interesting I just noticed in watching this playback is that the platform in the remake is wood, in the original it was metal. That's weird. So now that we have the Prison of Hope 2F West cell key, we can go back to 3-1, and from the archstone, I'll show you how to get back to Rydell's cell, because this place is pretty confusing. So if you watched my video on how to rescue Sage Freak, uh, you will be very familiar with some of the jailers that I always have a hard time with. I am proud to say that while rescuing Rydell, I took them down with no problem. They never hugged me, so that's, that's an improvement. It's an improvement on New Game Plus here. All right, so you backstab this guy before he notices you. And then you may have to do one more shot. I'm on New Game Plus. So these guys have a bit more health than usual, but they reward more souls, which is always fun. There's another Jailer in here. Be careful of him. Go ahead and hit him with a backstab. And then just poke him once for the final shot. And then we're going to head to the left. And then we're going to go all the way down this hallway to a maze of staircases. And as we're on our way here, I do want to mention that after I show you the stuff that uh, Lord Rydell unlocks, I'm also going to show you another pure white world tendency change here in 3.1. Okay, so head all the way down here. And then this is Prison of Hope B9. We're going to keep going. I'm going to go down this staircase. And then we're going to exit here. And at the end of this hallway is going to be another jailer that we have to confront. So we're going to deal with him really fast. And then Lord Rydell's cell is actually just in front of the Jailer. So we're almost there. Lord Rydell actually screams a lot more in the original version of the game. I noticed they toned it down a bit in the remake, or a lot, actually. So opening Lord Rydell's cell will allow us to talk to him. He thanks us, and he gives us the Dull Rats Ring. Now, in addition to the ring, we now have access to more of the dungeon. 
But before I show you the doors that this opens by freeing him, and again, they only open after you free him, regardless of whatever keys you have, there are more rewards to get if you have pure white world tendency, and they are just across from Lord Rydell's cell. So that's what I'm gonna show you next, right after he gives us the ring. Okay, so from the cell, turn right, and then there will be a new path here that was previously blocked by a bent gate. If you have pure white world tendency, which you should at this point, this will be gone. And in these cells down this hallway are a bunch of souls, as well as Sage Frake's set, his armor set, which is great for casters. It's a big upgrade over the starting set for the royalty class. And then, as always, you get to look like the character that it came off of. But luckily, you don't need to kill Sage Frake to get this. You also get the three-cornered hat, which is Yuria's witch hat, which is really cool. So we're gonna head down this hallway a little bit further. And then somebody left us a note in here. Let's see what it says. Thanks for reading, no problem. Rate that fine. All right, and in this final cell, there will be a corpse with Lord Rydell's armor set. And this is the Venerable Sage's armor set. So let's put that on real quick. It looks great on any caster. And it has a nice defense upgrade, which is awesome because the royalty starting armor is quite weak physically. So this will give you a nice added boost to defense. There you go, Sage Frake in the flesh. Now that we have this set, we can open up some doors that are only accessible after freeing Lord Rydell. So from his prison cell, we want to head left. And obviously I'm splicing in footage here because I sort of did this out of order. I didn't realize that these rewards were directly across from his cell. I didn't actually realize it until I was editing this, <laughs> believe it or not. Okay, so from Sage Frake's cell, we're gonna head back the way we came, and now we're gonna go downstairs towards where that big bone skeleton orb thing is. You pass this on your way to the bridge when you picked up the Warden's Key. So if you were using the bridge as a shortcut back to Fool's Idol in case you died to her, you should be familiar with this enemy that I'm talking about. So again, from the cell, you're gonna head down this staircase, head down this one, and now we're gonna be on the first floor. Let's go ahead and exit, and then turn right, and then avoid the soul arrow that comes out of this thing, and then just run to the left of it so you don't get hit. And there's a very hard to see gate that we are now able to open. This is always openable if you have the Prison of Hope 1F key, but the gate at the top of the staircase in this hallway is only accessible or only able to be opened after freeing Lord Rydell. It's unclear why this isn't mentioned ever. You know, he never says, hey, check out this gate, but this is how you open it. Okay, so down this row of cells is the rogue set along with three jailers. So you gotta be very, very careful when going down this hallway. There are a lot of locked cells in this block. And the reason for that is because you don't have the key, but the key is in this block of cells. It's behind an unlocked door. I don't understand why they put the key to these cells in the cells. I think it was FromSoft's way of just being like, let's sort of throw them off the scent and get them to stop checking the cells by putting the key in the very last cell, but that's where it is. So the rest of these cells are all locked uh, with the exception of maybe one. Um, so if you notice that you don't have a key, don't freak out. You don't have to go to like 3-3 or 3-2 or anything, go down to the swamp. You don't have to do anything crazy. The key is in this block of cells and we'll get to it in, in a minute. Like I said, the rogue set is in these cells, which is really nice along with a parrying dagger, which is always helpful for PVP builds if you're feeling confident in your parry abilities. I'm not huge on PVP. I do love it in this game. Believe it or not, when I went to 3-2 in my new game plus playthrough, I literally touched the archstone, got fool's idol soul and got invaded. I couldn't warp back to the Nexus. So I had to take care of that before I could go spend my souls. And I did, I'm proud of that. Anywho, go down to the very last cell in this block and you will see a corpse that has a key on it. So we're gonna get there in a second here. That cell's empty. This is the one we're looking for right here. So we're gonna open this cell and on this corpse is a soul as well as the Prison of Hope 2F East cell key. So now we can open all the cells on this block as well as get some really nice rewards there's two mercury stone chunks, a bunch of souls, as well as that rogue set. So let's open these up and then we will finish this guide. So I'll let this play out, but if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out.
If you're looking for more guides for Demon's Souls Remake, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch, and as always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.